welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Nikki with MontanaCrochetCreations.com. In today's tutorial, we're going to be making this really cute crochet chicken coaster. I think it turned out really adorable. It'd actually be the perfect accompaniment for the crochet chicken pot holder that I did um, several months back. So you'll need a few things for this crochet chicken coaster. We're going to need a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. You'll also need a yarn needle for weaving in your yarn tails. You'll need a pair of scissors for clipping those yarn ends. And then we're going to need three different colors of yarn. I used just a number four worsted weight yarn, which would be fine, but if you want to be able to set cold drinks or something on there, I definitely recommend you using a cotton yarn instead. So this here is kind of like an oatmeal color. I thought it'd look really cute as the chicken body. And then you're going to need a red, just a tiny scrap amount of red for the waddle and the comb. And you'll need a tiny scrap amount of either gold or orange for the beak. So go ahead and grab all of your supplies and I'll meet you back and we'll get started on this crochet chicken coaster. So let's get started here for round one. So I have my um, oatmeal colored and we're going to start on the body first. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our magic circle. If you don't know how to do a magic circle, I'll link that up in the top right hand corner for you. It just kind of goes into depth on how to do that. So we're gonna start with our magic circle and we're going to chain three. And this chain three right here is going to count as our very first double crochet. Now we're going to come in and put 11 double crochet inside this magic circle. So we're yarning over and inserting our hook into that circle. We're drawing up a loop. So now we have our three loops on our hooks. So we're gonna yarn over and pull through two of those loops and yarn over and pull through two more. That is your second double crochet. So now we're gonna complete that for a total of 11 times. All right, so we have our 11 <clears throat> additional double crochet. So we're just gonna pull that yarn tail tight to close up this little circle here we're gonna come over and we're just going to slip stitch to the top of this chain three. Because remember, that counts as your very first double crochet. So slip stitch to the top of that and just pull through. Two, we're going to chain three. Oh, and at the end of round one, you should have had a total of 12 double crochet. And remember, that included your chain three. So for round two, we're going to chain three, and then we're going to go in and place a double crochet in this chain three space right here. And then we are going to continue placing two double crochet in every stitch all the way around. At the end of round two, you should have a total of 24 double crochet. All right, so I've completed round two and I've slip stitched to the top of that chain three. Now we're going to come in and we're going to chain three again. So for round three, what we're going to do next is we are going to place two double crochet in this space right here where the chain three. So we're gonna place one more. And then we're gonna place one double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to repeat that all the way around. So the next stitch, we're placing two double crochet in the same stitch. Oh, this yarn is terrible. And then we'll place one double crochet in the very next stitch. So go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around until you get back to the very beginning here of round three and then you're going to slip stitch to the top of that chain three. So for round four, what we're going to do next is we've started, I've slip stitched, I've got my chain three. Now we're going to work in the front loops only of round four. So if you look here at these two stitches, you can see there's a front loop and then there's a back loop right there. So what we're going to do is be working in this front loop only right here. 
we're just going to ignore the back loops for now. So we're just working in this front piece right here. So we are going to take in place one double crochet in this next stitch here, this front loop only. And then we're going to place two double crochet in the front loop only of the very next stitch. And we're repeating that all the way around until we get back to the very beginning over here. So continue to do one double crochet in the next stitch and two double crochet in the next stitch. Remember working in the front loops only of this and then I'll meet you back whenever we are done. So I wanted to make a note as we continue working here in these front loops that you're going to repeat the pattern a total of eight times. And we're gonna come over and when there are five stitches left unworked, we're going to stop. We are not going to slip stitch to the top of our um, chain three from the previous round. We're going to now start turning our work. So just continue to repeat this path, this process, and when you get to your five unworked stitches, we're gonna chain one and then turn our work. So I'm at the end and I have my five unworked stitches. So I'm going to chain one and I'm just going to turn my work here. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna start working all the way back around here creating that cute little shell pattern all the way around the bottom edge that's going to act as our chicken feathers. So we're chaining one and turning our work. So what we're going to do now is we're skipping this first stitch right here. So our chain one um, does not count. So we're gonna, normally we would go right back into that chain one space to create our first stitch but we're skipping that and we're coming into our second stitch here. And we're going to place six double crochet in that stitch, that very next stitch. And six. Now we're going to skip this next stitch and single crochet in this very next stitch right here. And so we're gonna repeat that all the way around until we have a total of, I believe, nine shell stitches, clusters. And then um, once we get to that point, then I'll come back and show you exactly what we're doing from there. So after we've um, done our shell stitch, we've skipped a stitch, single crochet, we're going to skip another stitch and then we're going to place six double crochet in this next stitch here. And we're just going to repeat that until we have a total of nine of these shell stitch clusters. And we're skipping a stitch and single crocheting in the next stitch. And we're skipping a stitch and placing six double crochet in the next. I've gotten, come around with all of my um, shell stitch clusters here, and I was actually wrong. There's 10 sh of your shell stitch clusters that you should have. So now we have these last remaining six stitches unworked here. So we're going to single crochet in five of these stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Now what we're going to do is we're coming right into this very next stitch and we're placing six double crochet for another shell cluster. Six. And then we have the top of our chain three right here. And we're just going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three. Now we can just fasten off this yarn color. And then if you like, um, you can go ahead and weave in your yarn tails, but I'm just gonna wait till the very end to weave in all of my yarn tails. So what we're going to do now is we're going to grab our red yarn and we're gonna start working on the waddle and we'll start working on the comb. So go ahead and grab your red yarn and I'll meet you back in just a second. So now we're gonna start working on the waddle. So we have our red yarn and what we're going to do is we're going to attach our red yarn in this single crochet here right at the very end of that double crochet cluster. 
So we're just going to attach our red yarn here. And next what we're going to do is we're going down into this stitch that's right here underneath our double crochet, or where we attached our red yarn words. Sorry, to, I cannot get them out today. So we're going to place three single crochet directly in this stitch right here below. So we're just going to insert our hook and we're gonna place three single crochet. Make sure you work over this yarn tail right here so that way it'll um, secure that in place a little bit extra. So then that way, whenever you weave in your yarn tail at the end, it's really nice and tight and secure. Okay, so there's three. And then what we're going to do next is we are going to skip a stitch. So we're skipping this stitch and we're single crocheting in the very next stitch. And we are just going to fasten off. That's it. That's how quick and easy and simple it was to make that little crochet waddle. So let's fasten off our yarn. Now we're going to grab our red yarn again and we're gonna come over here to the top and we're gonna work on our comb for our chicken head. Because if you can see now, this portion right here is going to be the chicken's head and then we're gonna put a beak in right here. So let's go ahead and grab our red yarn and we're going to attach in the third double crochet. So there's one, two, and we're going to attach right here into the top of that third double crochet of that six double crochet cluster. So now we're going to go into that same stitch and we're placing two double crochet. And two, oops. And then we're going to chain one and place two more double crochet in that same stitch. So you can hear Cola in the background meowing. She really wants in here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to skip this stitch and go into the very next stitch. And we're placing two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. We're going to do that one more time. So we're going to skip the stitch and we're going to place two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet in this very last stitch. Now we can just fasten off our yarn, leave a decent tail so that way you can weave in your yarn end. We'll fasten that off. Now you can see we've got our waddle and we've got our comb. So what we're going to do next is we're going to grab our gold colored yarn here and we're going to create our beak. So the beak is super, super simple to make. Um, so we're just going to come in and we're going to attach our yarn in the same stitch where we just finished our last um, single crochet for the waddle. So let's attach our yarn here. And I'm just using this gold color. You can use orange, you can use black, you can use whatever color you want. It really depends on what color you're gonna make your chicken. So now we're going to come over and we are going to single crochet in the next two stitches. So there's one and two. Oops. One. Now we're at two. Okay, so we are chaining one and turning our work. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to single crochet two of these, these two stitches right here together. If you don't know how to do a single crochet two together, I'll leave a link in the description box up in the right hand corner. So we're inserting our hook into that first stitch and then we're going right straight into the second stitch, inserting our hook and just pulling all the way through. And now we have single crocheted those two stitches together. So all we're going to do now is just clip our yarn and fasten off. Then you can go in and we'll weave in our yarn tails here. So when I do that, um, 
I really do like to try and go back and forth across one spot several times so that way I know for a fact that my yarn tails are nice and secure. Because since this is going to be a coaster, you're going to be washing it and you don't want it to come undone in your washing machine. So clip that. And all right, and then go ahead and finish weaving in the rest of your yarn tails and I'll meet you right as it. We just created this really cute crochet chicken coaster. So um, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials as I try to post here weekly. I love you guys all so much and I will see you in next week's video. Bye-bye.